Hi, welcome to Do Info. I am back with another exciting video. Today, I am going to show you how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC, either it's a laptop or desktop. I recorded another video about a year ago how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC, but that's too old. There are few new methods, so I thought let's share with you guys. Okay, let's get to it. First of all, I will show you uh, what I am getting here. I have downloaded Windows 11 here. I will show you what error is it. Don't worry, I will show you from where I got this download. Uh, whole Windows 11 uh, just wait few more minutes and I will show you from where we can download Windows 11 and uh, how you can bypass See, this PC does not currently meet the Windows 11 system requirement okay the the system requirement they want is the processor is not supported okay that's good processor is not supported we have a way to go around that okay let's cancel this one so how you can tell either your computer is compatible to install Windows 11 or not there are two methods number one when you usually go to air windows and then settings click on update and security give it few seconds And it will tell you right here that this PC does not currently meet the minimum system requirement so uh, either it will tell you here or if it's not telling here then you can go to the PC health check it's a Windows app small app which you can install and will run it. it will tell you exactly what thing is uh, uh, main hurdle to install the Windows 11 so the first step in installing Windows 11 on unsupported computer is you need to open your browser then go to this website I will put the website address in the description below it's a Microsoft website to download Windows 11 once it's loaded up, you need to scroll down and you can see download Windows 11 disk image ISO file. You need to download this ISO file. It's about 5 to 6 gigabyte uh, in size, so it will take a while to download. So what you can do, select here and you will see the option here, Windows 11 multi edition click on the Windows 11 then you can press download select the language so let's see English confirm and wait for a few seconds and now it will give you the option Windows 11 English 64 bit so just click here and it will start downloading so you can see the downloading has started uh, I have already downloaded this Windows 11 before so you can see it's about like a 5.4 gigabyte 5.1 sorry 17 gigabyte big size no. now number one we already got the Windows 11 downloaded or you have a disk for Windows 11 now the second step is we need to do a small registry changes in the Windows so I can show you here I will put you here in the description as well what you can do click on Windows I can write reg edit you can see registry editor you need to open this in admin view okay so where you need to go you need to scroll down H key local machine then go down to system so system 
then go down to setup and here you need to find a folder name more setup in the setup more setup most people has that folder more setup like that if you don't have the more setup folder you can just right click here and create a new key and the new uh, that will make a new folder and name it as a more setup so you can see more setup so if you have that more setup you can click on that folder click the right side create a new dword 32 bit and then rename this with this name copy rename remove the name and put it here okay then double click on this one and make change the value from 0 to 1 that's it what this will do it will bypass all the windows 11 system check so like a processor check a tpm 1.0 it will bypass all the setting and directly will take you to the setup once this done close this one and then restart your computer so let me restart the computer and once it's up uh, we will move on to the step number three okay you can see computer is restarted now this is the file which we downloaded from window you can see 5.17 so just double click on that file press open it will start installing windows 11 click on double click on setup wait few seconds windows 11 preparing we'll see if it will bypass the because you know last time when i checked the it's right stop when the checking the pc so i want to have press next getting updates and restarting windows 11 setup the updates are installed so it's install all the updates it's going to restart the computer and uh, it will start wherever it left you can see it bypassed all the necessary checks so it's mm, went ahead to that point now is set choose what to keep finally you can see installing windows 11 pro and they keep personal files and apps if you don't want to keep any files and need a fresh install you can go here change what you can keep and uh, just change the setting to a fresh install once you have done just press install